Hey guys, the objective of this video are to introduce the method of joints and to resolve axial loads in a simple truss via the method of joints. So the problem we have here is we have a super, super simple truss just here and we've been asked to resolve the axial forces in members AB and AC by considering joint A. So what we're going to be doing in this question, I'll just let you see the whole thing, is we're going to be looking at this joint here, joint A, and we're going to be looking at the members going into and out of joint A. So you can see that the two members that um, connect A to anything else are this member here and this member here. And the way we uh, denote them in when we're looking at trusses is we just denote them by where they start and where they end. So we have AB, which is this one, and AC, which is this uh, member here. And the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be basically just taking a cut um, and isolating one joint and then applying equilibrium equations and then solving for our unknowns. So our first step, as always, is going to be to find our support reactions and draw a free body diagram. So you can see from this diagram that we have one external force. We have this force F applied halfway uh, between these two joints. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we solve for the sum of the forces in the y direction, let that equal to zero. We have minus F plus uh, AY plus, a plus CY, which are these two. And just by symmetry, we can see that um, AY is going to equal CY. So therefore we get AY equals CY equals F on two. So we've solved for our support reactions. Now we can jump into the actual question. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing a free body diagram of this joint. 